Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please forgive the formalities here, um, but uh, yeah, it is going into Scorpio season and it is when the veil is the, the thinnest. So you will be seeing and experiencing things that have to be cleared and cleansed for the highest good of all. As you can tell, I am sitting on the floor and I'm using my desk for an altar right now. Um, if you're interested in my uh, mailing boxes, they are for sale. There's fi they're fifty dollars, and that includes post post postage and handling in handling in the United States. Um, yeah. So we got some things to talk about. Things to talk about, and one of them is that. Somebody showed themselves. This is a fallen angel. Okay. They showed themselves. Now this is a, a dark entity. And it goes by the name of M. And no, it's not Archangel Michael. In fact, it is experiencing Archangel Michael at this time. Um, understand these entities in the world are pulling out all the stops. This is like the death throes of before they get locked away, they are trying to create as much destruction as they can. And the only way you give in to their desire is to give in to the fear and the sorrow that they bring with them. And not saying that that is an easy process at this time. So. Stay balanced, guys, as much as you can. You have my love, and you have my sincere prayers. Okay? So let's see what's going on with these entities who are experiencing a tower right now. The... The... What do I want to say? The wanting to lash out right now is is real, and but this is this is why you need to surrender some things to the divine because in revealing themselves and you standing in your integrity, nine of wands. They've made themselves a target. That was that was that was the plan all along. And now they're forcing the hand of the divine. Come out, come out wherever you are. They have no firm foundation to work from anymore because they're exposed. They're exposed from the shadows. Most recent past. They're disappointed because they weren't able to block something here. They weren't able to block with the Seven of Wands. They weren't able to block their judgment over yours. Okay, so we have judgment and we have the seven of wands in reverse. 
So your will was stronger here. And whoever you are, demonic spirits, know that God loves you anyway. Doesn't mean that he's not going to force you out into the light. Because you have no spiritual protection, you've chosen the wrong side. But it does mean that he still loves you. And I think that's the part that most of these demons can't stand the most. Is that no matter what they do, they are a part of this creation. Seven of Pentacles in the immediate future. They will reap what they sow, as will you, viewer. You have to stand in your Nine of Wands. Someone's taking a leap of faith in your direction. It's the Fool card. It's zero point. And zero point is the magic. So, as these entities are forced into the light, because as I said, they expose themselves, they're, they're no longer able to hide in the dark anymore. It's not even about who you want to control or dominate at this point anymore. It is about putting these souls to rest and locking them behind the gates of hell where they belong. Some people don't believe in hell. I believe it's a place where you have no access to the human condition, which is your spiritual self. That's what I believe anyway. Anybody can believe what they want to believe, but that's what I believe. Seven of Pentacles, in, or Seven of uh, Cups in reverse. The illusion, the spell is broken. So mote it be. And the real real of who these and what these things are is coming to light at zero point energy. Let the divine handle this viewer because your vengeance will come back to you. Seven of Pentacles. Whatever you plant Make it seeds of love, prosperity, abundance, and peace. Because whether this life or the next, that is what you shall sow. If you go to war, and you become part of the karmic loop, that is also what you shall reap. He who lives by the sword shall die by the sword. That is the nature of the beast. We have the Eight of Cups in reverse along with the Lovers in reverse. Someone doesn't love someone, but they can't walk away. They signed a contract. And looks like they don't have a choice in love because of this contract that they signed that fooled them into believing that that was their person when all along it was you that they were supposed to love or be with. And now they don't have any choice. They're stuck with this karmic, nasty energy. At this point in time. Don't make a mistake and think that just because you love them, you could save them. Because that, it's free will. Free will and all. You know, everybody's got a choice. This person doesn't have a choice anymore. They gave up their choice. So now they're stuck with their choice. Whatever it was, you must move on. 
And that's exactly what you're doing. Hopes and fears. They don't get the money. Or they don't get the Ten of Pentacles. Because you moved on. And the Ten of Pentacles, I feel like, rests with the Divine. The Divine Feminine. They didn't choose the Divine Feminine. Male or female. They chose Karma. Anyone who chooses that, that's what they're going to manifest. Final outcome. Three of Cups in reverse. No more games. No more playing. Seat's taken. It's down to the wire now. Sagittarius energy in the wheel of fortune. Destiny is at hand. What's she gonna do? What side you gonna choose? Because it is time for the split. Somebody's going to be ex nade on eBay here. They're going to be outed. And I do feel like it's whoever this person is. They came after you. They came after your lineage. They came after everything that you are because you are the angelic being that is here to bring them out into the open. Just by being yourself. You don't have to do anything special. Just got to be yourself. Got to be standing in your integrity. Got to be that, that one person it says no to the dark, no matter what they offer. Wow. So this person doesn't want to be left out in the cold. And you're not worried about them anymore. You're not even... You're not worried about the Two of Cups. You're not worried about the Emperor. You're not worried about the Divine Masculine at this point. Because cause the truth about the manipulation that, that they tried to do here, the Game Master, the Costume Designer, they're very disappointed. They didn't get your house. They didn't get your house. with a high priestess in reverse. Well, that's because it wasn't meant for them. It wasn't meant for them alone, anyways. It was meant for the both of you, not for them. Five of Swords. Whoever this Divine Masculine was, or they're in reverse, they're, they're, they're distorted now. They chose wrong. They have no protection. They may try to come back to you for protection. However, if you put yourself in their shoes and, and, and try to save them from their karma, you will incur that karma as well. Don't make that mistake. Stand in your integrity. I don't feel like you will. I feel, I feel like they're watching you win this fight. And now they want to take a leap forward and dump the other person and say, Oh, well, I made a mistake. That's on them. Don't assume that to yourself. They still have to go through the dark night of the soul. Possibly do the same thing you did, viewer. Lose everything and everyone that they love in order to be broken down, ego death, 
into the very essence of who they truly are and what they're here to do before they can rise again just like you did they're standing behind the scenes watching you win and there ain't nothing they can do about it because the person that they picked they're not in love with and the 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 it was all about domination for that person it was not about love and they see it now but there's nothing that they could do about it because they have to pay for what they did your time rests possibly by yourself and I know that that doesn't that isn't an easy process sometimes being alone is all there is because you're never really alone I mean you you got God and God's putting putting an end to this this mockery of divine energy these people who think that they're divine are now finding out just how karmic they are because you stepped into your power. And somebody wants to apologize to a star. They want a new start with you. Gemini, Aquarius energy there. disappointment and death whoever this entity is they know they were unable this person is in love with you and they know they're not able to stop this but like I said how long did it take you to get back up after you were completely destroyed are you going to wait? Probably not. The Hierophant. Taurus energy. So in the most recent past, like I said, somebody is so regretful and disappointed about their belief system and how they treated you they believed in nothing but power and money they were waiting for the payoff they didn't get it because the divine stepped in it's unfortunate and now somebody's home is about to see an ending Scorpio season these people will experience everything you did and for some of us that was a literal destruction of our entire belief system and everything we had built ourselves to be it's going to be an ending for whoever this is the ending of a home situation the ending of a of a lifestyle that they've been used to looks like for a very long time my sevens out here are telling me seven years they will have to walk through the dark night of the soul for probably seven years as did you extra extra read all about it 
the the page of wands still gonna try you know they're still gonna try to dominate you they're still gonna try to out strengthen you and it's gonna make you angry unfortunately but take that strength directed into something else take that aggravation and that frustration that you have by fighting these people all the time for many millennia and direct it into something constructive because like I said they're still going to try I mean it's, they, they ain't done yet this ain't over yet I'm seeing seven months this is going to be going on for a while and there's a tower Oh, uh, yeah. So, literally destroyed by a lie and having to walk away. Lots of people are experiencing this right now. And if this is you, remember what you're trying to handle here. It's not worth it to retaliate it's not worth it to turn on your neighbor it's not worth it we gotta pull this together guys it was all a lie all of it what you believed was world news which was where we started was with the world seven of swords and the eight of cups time to eight of cups that ass y'all know how I feel about the eight of cups somebody else is not going to be able to walk away from what they manifested here time to tap, tap into the inner child La la la. It's Scorpio season. Tower. Death. I have on my uh, Instagram, I've been posting stuff for Scorpio lately because, you know, it is Scorpio season. It's getting ready to go into Scorpio season. And one of them was this, you know, um, oh, what was it? Oh, a guy. Scorpio watching out for you. <laughs> you guys have to see it. It's Anya's original Anya yeah, original Anya's tarot four 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 at Instagram. You have to see some of the Scorpio stuff there. I mean not not just on my uh, on my personal but I have Scorpios on my uh on my feed as well and some of the stuff they're coming up with especially for the Halloween is just awesome to chainsaw dude chasing somebody down the steps and chasing them out the house and then and then timing them on it and then coming out going 2.7 or no 2 minutes point seven seconds better you know like, like the lady's running from a guy with a chainsaw <laughs> and it's Scorpio and he's He's timing her on how long it takes her to get out of the house and run. Scorpio love. <laughs> I'm just saying. I love you, Scorpio, but damn, you get dark. And, you know, I know you love people and you're balanced and stuff, but not all people see your, your uh, strategies as strategies. They see them as pure chaos. The illusion's been broken, you know. The illusion of what has been told to all these people, 777. What was hidden behind the moon is, is, is coming out into the open. And, and the best way to handle this, guys, is like 
you know, kind of like watching a horror movie, like you could get up and get some popcorn and sit and watch the drama and stand back and say, uh, yeah, I don't want a part of that. Seat's taken. Or you can, and, and, and then involve yourself in some kind of art or or decoration or whatever it is that, that tweaks your melon instead of engaging in the nonsense which is this was this was like a last this is like the last act the last supper whatever you want to call it for these demonic energies they've been exposed they're out in the open now and they have no protection so you protect yourself because protection prevents infection I'm just saying Pisces Leo energy if you protect yourself there ain't nothing these people can do to manipulate your truth this game master ace of swords they just found out who you are yeah. The hard way. With this seducing in the house. You know, I mean, they came at you with this energy instead of the Two of Cups, which is what they should have come after, you know, at you with when they took the sleep of faith. But they didn't. They came at you with the lovers in reverse. Very karmic. They attacked you. Five of Swords. And it and it, and it turned them into I don't want to say this in the in the, in the you know in a very callous way, but like a washed up old man. Somebody who can't now distinguish themselves from an inverted version of themselves. Okay, so that's, that's what I mean by that. They don't want you to say goodbye. They don't want you to go away. But instead of choosing the Four of Wands, they chose the Glitter. They're hoping that if they put this away, still look at them different. This is the Matriarch. And yes, they did this for abundance, but they got tricked. You were the prize all along. And they picked the karma. They're not smart. But that's, you know, like I said, God loves them anyway, unconditionally. And that's what you should do, regardless. This is the, like I said, this is this is the the final fig leaf. This is the the last act where they want you to lash out. They want you to be in fear. They want you to retaliate. Allegedly, I keep hearing a lot of that lately. Because they know it's coming for you. And they want you not to get this. It starts with the self. And it vibrates out into the world. That's the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. It starts with you.
judgment of the eon in victory. And somebody is definitely regretting how they dressed something up and made it look to try to seduce you and your success in the world the universe in this deck all right Ooh, what are we gonna do next since it's Halloween I'm going to keep using the um, spirit and shadows deck for advice because I just feel it like it's appropriate for the for the what's going on in the world. So I can't make it up. Somebody's going to pay the ultimate price here for what they did. To children. For a great fortune. This lover in reverse. Is going to pay. For what they've done. You can bet on it. And they know that. Doesn't mean they want it. And it doesn't mean that they can't try to force it on you if you retaliate. Because if you if you retaliate, you'll be making a big mistake. I'm telling you not to. I'm telling you to defend yourself. But not, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. You leave that in the divine's hands. Because no matter how this turns out, that judgment doesn't belong to you. What what I'm feeling is is not is not a good feeling, guys. But understand that all will be revealed and it might be quite shocking in the immediate future you are going to have to hold on to your skittles here you not them not for them for yourself because the end game is that ten of pentacles and that ace of cups and these entities do not want you to have it so they want to put, push fear, guilt, sorrow, pain, all of the nasties onto you right now. It's the last act. Are you going to get in your chariot and keep going? Or are you going to fold? This person, this dark entity doesn't have a choice. But you do. I do feel like you're going to get a text call, email, or message from this person because they're they're interested in talking now. They know what's coming. And they're finding out. That they have to heal the inner child. This person is experiencing a painful, painful attack. As are you, probably. But release it. Hand it over to the divine. I swear you will be so proud of yourself. For, you know, like I said, I, I can't say I don't get angry. Because you poke mama bear. Mama Bear Dragon Shock. You go and get it back. Just maybe energetically. But you're going to get it back. Protect your own. 
protect. Don't. What do I want to say? Don't seek vengeance. Seek peace. And protect yourself when necessary. Alright? I'm not saying make yourself a target here. Lots of people are being stabbed in the back over their firm foundations. People are just having their whole life wiped out from underneath of them. I get it. But holding on to the inner child has to be enough right now. Knowing that this ending is going to bring a new beginning and choosing to heal anyway despite what you find out. This news, whatever it is that's coming out and it's going to be different for everyone. That's why I'm not going to clarify it because this news is going to be different for everyone and I can't prepare you for that. You have to kind of prepare yourself for anything. Because like I said, these entities are trying to keep from being locked behind the gates of hell. Of their own making. So they're trying anything and everything possible. Because this is going to last for a long time. And they know it. Long enough for them to damn sure sit and think about it what they did, how they did it, why they did it, and what they can do better. What they did, how they did it, and what they could do better. We are all part of the whole. And despite their jealousy, their recklessness, and their trying to sacrifice you, I feel like you are protected, and you are protecting yourself. You are doing the right thing. Movement, choices, and decisions away from this energy. As hard as that might be sometimes, that's exactly what's called for. And trust me when I say it's very, very difficult to walk away from your own for the very same reasons. But you must protect your energy. If you haven't seen my video on chakras, that's your energy. And know what's yours and know what's not yours. Because they're gonna they're 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 gonna do a lot here. And the veil's gonna be really thin, so you're gonna know where it's coming from. And if you don't, you're not centered. You have to get centered. You have to get balance. Cause that is the earth angel energy. That is the temperance energy. Always pull yourself back to center, no matter how angry you get. Because trust me, I get angry too. I'm no saint. But I'm learning to have the patience of one. I'm learning too, just like you are. It's a learning process. It's not something that we just know automatically. We have to learn. And tap into that inner child because anything else is not enough. But what they're doing is definitely enough is enough. And the only way to do this and do this right is if they destroy everything in your life, you still choose. To stand on your own two feet. Now if you're a child. You can't do that. So that's the ones you have to look out for. Those are the ones you have to protect. And as the mother energy. Or the divine feminine energy. Male or female. 
that is what you're here to do. Materialism, illusions over reality, stress overload and drama. Stuff is just stuff. You can always get more stuff. But can you get another you? Can you get more time? Can you get other people you love? That's another story. And it's a never-ending story. So when somebody comes to my channel and says, Well, this is old news. It's a never-ending story. Because everybody's always falling for the tricks. People you love, people you care about, people that you reach in deep to forgive. We're all part of the same thing. Even if they're Mr. Smiths, they were created by the Creator just like you. And yes, Creator loves them. It doesn't mean that they're not going to put them in a pen and lock them away for thousands of years so they can sit and think about what they've done. But we are all immortal beings having a human experience. Entity attachment can't think for themselves because they follow trends instead of following the Ace of Cups, which is what they should have done to start with. And a queen or king doesn't fight or beg for a position because they earned their crown. They don't have to, they don't have to fight for this. The paranoia, the suspicions, and always looking for what's wrong instead of what could be made right. You are a bridge between worlds. And if you stay in this energy, instead of being that bridge to help other people over, you will keep manifesting that over and over again. And I'm saying Project Blue Beam is a, is a, is a real, real thing. Being true to yourself and honest. That's all that really matters here. There are things that, have, that, that we don't know about because we aren't privy to it as, you know, what do they, they call us peasants? <laughs> We're not peasants. We're royalty. But it, and if your third eye is active, you see you see through this illusion from a childlike wonderment going, Wow, really? You really went that far? It's leading you to the Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Your inheritance, your birthright. Everything's falling apart for these people. And they're running away. Because they know what's coming for them next. Like I said, the last act, the last fig leaf. Pride. Ego. God. They know what's coming next. This contract is broken. Whether it be a divorce or, you know, they're in their feels about it. Total drama. Yeah. So a lot of this has been recorded. These people didn't understand that, you know, even though they... They go back to their accounts and they start deleting stuff and they say, oh, now I got to do... It's all recorded. It's all recorded. Wow. Look what just popped out. Kali. Oof. For some, it will be a miracle. For some, it will be destruction. Choose wisely. 
I'm going to read this to you, and that's going to be your reading. So, I am calling. It's a nine. Seventy-two. I always look at numbers. That's part of the matrix. All right, so. From death comes rebirth. This says, Kali is the blue-skinned Hindu goddess of birth, death, and rebirth. Here she represents the destruction phase of the natural cycle, and is it is her role to clear away all that is no longer needed. She is often depicted dancing with swords, as she is said to cut off the head of those who do, not, who do not heed the necessity of moving through these natural cycles. Wow, I can't see it like that. It says, her necklace of several heads represent the end of slavery to the overthinking, overanalytical self who gets struck who gets stuck when all that is needed is action. The goddess is very strong, very powerful, and in many ways extremely protective. Through her fierce nature can often frighten timid souls who fear decisive action. As she is the mother goddess, she helps with issues to do with brothers and sisters, teachers and parents and will help with painful transitions. Once received in a message, Kali energy, Kali energy is already activated. Let's go and allow her to assist you in releasing all that is no longer needed and is taking powerful action and in taking powerful action to change your life. Kali speaks, I am the dancer who moves through the fire that wields my sword and severs the cords of energy that tang entangle you and who is not afraid of the death that needs to happen. Every act of destruction is an act of creation and this is no act of pointless destruction and brutality. I am cleaning all that is leeching off your energy, draining your strength. What's that word? An abrading? Abrading? Yeah, okay. Those relationships that cannot do anything but keep you stuck. Whether you realize it or not, you're called, you called on me, and I have come to clear the path to destroy that which you have, no, have longed to let go of. Something's time has come, and it will be born again as nothing really truly dies. It only changes, and that time has come, and I, my, I am pure fire energy and the great mother and as I dance the death you face brings you a new life the divination message is working with Kali is extremely powerful but it is all work that but it is work we will we all do and all must do if you have drawn this card you are working with the energy of the fire of the dancing mother goddess who will teach you how to go through the change you have been resisting and feeling was too much and who will purify and change everything you must not stay still with this energy movement is essential for working with her and her fierce nature is in fact the test of your own strength. Can you do what needs to be done and still dance? 
Can you replace or re replace re replace rejoice in the purification of stale energy? Can you walk forward without hesitating? Can you say yes to what will come for you on the other side of Kali's fire? And will you wear your lessons proudly as she does her necklace and know that the death is an incarnation within an incarnation, a new life within this lifetime born of fire? Wow. I can't think of any way to end this better. Um, like I said, it will get better, but this is the last push, guys. Hang in there. These entities will be defeated with your chariot if you choose destiny over fear and anger. All right? Those are your messages, my darlings. I hope you can hear me. Please remember to press the like button, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.